In February 2018, the Rwanda Forensic Laboratory, based in Kachiru, Kigali, began operations. The biotechnology department conducts the DNA tests. According to Bavujirije Pascal, who works at the department, the tests help to identify the merger between the person and the crime committed, as well as to show the relationship between people. We all have a connection to two parents. These parents, each giving a child 50%. DNA is made up of genes that are also used to make signs of relationship. We see if the child has what the parent had to give them, which is 50% of the mother's match, in order for a person to be related to the child and confirm that he or she is the one who gave birth to the child, the match must be at the rate of 99.999%. When they are not related, there is no average. These criteria are international. When it is found that there is something mismatching, we immediately know that there is no connection. Samvura Jean-Pierre, a spokesperson of the Rwanda Forensic Laboratory, says the fact that DNA tests have been conducted abroad in countries such as Germany and South Africa and that are now currently being conducted in Rwanda has helped to dispel mistrust between people and made it easier for perpetrators to be identified. <laughs> Young men and women no longer have arguments about the birth of a child because now DNA is the only proof which helps prevent one from lying to the other. Moreover, with the help of DNA, a person can kill another person but gets injured or when he touched the victim or raped them, DNA helps to reconcile the suspect with the crime scene or reconcile the victim with the crime scene. For example, if a person is killed at a place, then the killers go and throw him or her elsewhere, we find evidence at the crime scene. Samvura also says that due to the way the government cares for its people, prices have dropped compared to the tests that were conducted abroad. For example, three people, a woman, a man and a child, when they come for a regular test here at the lab, according to the way people come, then those three people pay 267,035 Rwandan francs. When people come rushing and they want their test available quickly, they pay 427,998 Rwandan francs. When tests were taken abroad, the cost was above 600,000 Rwandan francs. The government is investing a lot of money to make it easier for people, which is why the prices have been reduced. As of February 2, 2018, the center reports to have received 2,694 applications for DNA testing, of which 2,080 were related to crimes committed and 614 for people who wanted to know their relationship. In addition to DNA, the center measures drugs, poison, the amount of alcohol in the blood, documents with untrusted authenticity, and fingerprints. The laboratory also conducts autopsy, the extent of disability, bullets and more.